much the same sort of comments apply to these more advanced pieces being played in a row <laughs> as a recital um, in that one shouldn't ask to underestimate how much energy and concentration it takes to pull this off. But it's a very, very, very good exercise. And um, even if you don't enter for um, the solo pieces in a musical festival such as this, try your very best to enter for a recital because it, it really shows what you, what you can do and teaches you a lot about your own abilities. After all, this is not about bringing um, something that is perfect and absolute. We, we, we listen to excellence in the work, but also we're also listening to work in progress. And, and what my comments, and I hope other adjudicators' comments will be such that you can build and get something really constructive out of what we're trying to convey to you. So my approach is never to uh, go in there with a scythe and lower everybody down um, because I don't um, feel good that day. It doesn't work that way. It's about trying to find the good things and to build on them. Okay, um, the first candidate uh, with the oh. Telemann and the Burlesca and the Van Eyck. Um, Yes, the, the Telemann had, had a good tempo choice. Um, I just felt that sometimes you know, the nature of the piece, it, it, the part of it, the, the, the treacherous side of it is, don't underestimate how much control you need to end the phrases which end on a weak quaver before you take a breath to go on. Um, sometimes it can come over a little rushed. Um, the articulations also need to be a lot clearer, so that the the tempo can and, and the, art, the the tempo and the articulations can kind of match. Um, in the the von Eich, um, it's quite a difficult piece to really get a handle on because it says fantasia, um, and you wonder what is really free in the piece and what what is not. <laughs> what what is actually happening is that there are a number of different sections. And I think each one needs to tell its own story. Um, so what would really help is if you could let the, as we say in music, often we say, let the dust settle before you move on to the next part. Because it might have completely different information, different motives. Um, so you, you want to let, you know, the listeners have time to, oh yes, I enjoyed that. Now we move on to the next. Um, so it's a question of timing and discovering what each section is actually trying to tell the listener. Um, I don't know if you had planned the clock chiming um, during the fun act, but you do know that he was a blind uh, recorder and flautist, recorder player and flautist. Um, in Utrecht, in the Netherlands, and that was his job, was to, and part of his job was to entertain the, the, the visitors in the, the gardens at the, the Dom, the cathedral, and he would play his flute from up on the tower, so I'm sure the clock chimed um, at appropriate and probably inappropriate moments as well, so I don't know whether you planned that, but it worked very well. <laughs> um, and then the burlesca, I thought this you played the best. Um, it's very rhythmically con convincing. Um, sometimes contemporary music can, in many ways, come over, if you play the rhythms correctly and with conviction, almost as if there seems to be sometimes a better understanding of, of more recent music than of, of older music. It's not, it's, it's, in your case, I'm saying this, this is just a general comment. But it certainly did have a lot of verve and vivacity in it. I really enjoyed that. Thank you very much. Um, and then and the, the second one. <clears throat> um, 
I just made a comment here that at the, this is the Julia Delaney, the Alamanda and the Searchlight Rag. I said the hallmark of your playing is your rhythmic vitality. This, um, this really carries you very far. And it's, it's very important. Um, I remember when I was many, many years ago as a student, my, one of my teachers said to me, when you listen to somebody playing, but you can't quite put your finger on what's, what's not quite working. Everything's there, everything's in place, but something's not quite right. 99% of the time, it will be a rhythmical issue. And I never got that feeling with you. I feel that you are on top of your game in terms of the rhythm and the metrical control, and um, you, 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 you convey that very, very successfully. Um, also, <clears throat> this, this stands you in good stead because then you're able to connect your phrases beautifully. And as I say, convey the message behind the notes so that you can transcend <clears throat> the dots on the page and tell a story. That's so much what music is about. Getting there is the other job. <laughs> so excellent intonation, and I really hope I hear you again soon. <clears throat> um, then the waltz for Mo, the Bonnie Lass, and the Allegro. Yes, I thought this was also very, very well sustained, the three pieces, you, you did this very well. And at this point, I'd just like to mention that some of you really took trouble, and I've sort of got my head buried in the music, but I glanced at the screen and I said, oh yes, you took the trouble to bow to the imaginary audience. That's very important. It just shows that, that your attitude towards the recital is correct. It's not just three pieces to be scrambled off and then you know, go on to the next thing. You present, and that is important. Um, so I really appreciated that. Um, so this was uh, participant number three. Things worked generally very beautiful. I thought that there was a good musical flow um, with excellent intonation. Just a few rhythmical issues. Uh, I don't have the composer of the piece simply called Allegro. <clears throat> um, but just be careful that you don't make the rhythms that are as to just I've, I've written it in the report just make sure you can get a handle on that and also in the walls one two three one two three da, 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 da. those dotted rhythms come across as da, 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 squares um if i were not looking at the music i wouldn't have known but do be careful about detail like that it, it is after all not, the, not paramount. Um, it's not the most important thing that we just, you know, be focused only on tiny little details and forget about the bigger picture of the communication of the music. But you, um, just just take care with details. It, it, it is very really important. Um, <clears throat> and then in the, the last one, uh, you played the Van Eyck and the Greensleeves and the Reverie. Um, I just felt here you, you conveyed the, the message behind the music quite well, but it could, it could, you could lift the veil a little bit more often so that, that I could understand what, you, what you're trying to tell me. So in the fun, I, I think a little bit more variety in the articulation might, might make it tell the story more clearly. Um, the green sleeves, um, just be careful that you 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 keep the the tension in the piece going. Little things like the G sharp one, the middle G sharp on the, or sorry, the lowest G sharp on the desk and recorder. <clears throat> um, sometimes a little bit sharp. Just check that your right hand hasn't isn't missing a finger because it sometimes comes across as a little bit sharp. And again, as I said earlier about this very piece, don't underestimate the demands of this piece. It's, it's surprisingly difficult to carry off. Okay, I, I have to say there, there was a little place where there was, um, the ensemble came a little bit unstuck, but you know what the most important thing is? You went on, you didn't stop. And that is very, very important. Um, in the Reverie, 
uh, everything was in place, uh, good intonation and a good sense of phrasing, but it's the kind of piece, as I've mentioned with some others before, that you really need to come back to in the future. Um, put it away, come back to it, and rediscover what this tempo rubato è molto flexible. Um, in other words, tempo rubato, flexible time, very with great flexibility. That still needs to happen in this piece. I believe it will. Um, I, I always listen to, you know, what will happen? How, how where is this going? And I do believe that, that this can definitely happen in your playing and your interpretation of this piece. So just put it away, come later, next year, come back to the piece. Again, to all the candidates, thank you very much. I really enjoyed the performances and um, good luck to you all. I really think you've done excellent work, excellent preparation, and uh, I look forward to hearing you at another time. <laughs>